Hey, well, it's March, so that's March Madness time, and I'm enjoying this Saturday. It's conference championship weekend. Might as well enjoy some college basketball. But hey, when we're enjoying sports, of course, we also want to enjoy that with some beer. But if you're familiar with my channel, you know I no longer drink beer or any alcohol. But this allows me to test out some non-alcoholic beer. So I went to my local grocery store today, and I picked up Heineken 0.0. .0. And now Heineken 0, 0.0 has become a very mainstream brand that's out there. You may have noticed they're really promoting it, and so there's sometimes some ads where, uh, you know, the guy's just drinking Heineken 0, 0.0 in the workplace in his conference room, and I would highly suggest do not do that. Uh, yeah, beer and non-alcoholic beer don't, uh, shouldn't be in uh, public places like that. Bars, of course, that's fine. So, yeah, I mean, I will say that Heineken 0.0 .0 has really put themselves out there, so it's available in many bars when you're out, um, and so that's really nice uh, as somebody who may go to a bar but does not want to uh, drink alcohol, and at least there's a non-alcoholic beer option that isn't always just the usual of Odules. Um, I will be honest in saying I was not a Heineken drinker uh, when I did drink beer, uh, very rarely did I drink it, didn't purchase it for my home, so not super into the beer itself to begin with, um, that I really care for a non-alcoholic version of it, but nevertheless, uh, still nice to pick up. Basically, the situation was, uh, the price point of this is fairly high, even for a 12-pack of cans. It was twenty ninety nine, usually regularly priced. Once my grocery store was on sale for fifteen ninety nine, so I figured, what the heck, this is a buck more than Coors Edge, might as well get it. When I rang it up, though, rung up at seventeen ninety nine. so I got the manager to come over, got that $2 back, which tells you a lot about myself, also tells you about the sad state of affairs here. That means no one cared to check on the price as it's being rung up, or really, like, nobody else buys this beer other than me to have pointed this out uh, prior to this point. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go ahead, try out Heineken 0.0. .0. I already filmed this video before and it went out of focus, so that's why the can's already open. Let's go ahead and try it. I already tried it, but I'm going to react like I hadn't already tried it. So yeah, it's fine. It, there's uh, really nothing special to this. Again, I was not a huge Heineken drinker when I did drink. Um, honestly, my issue is really the po price point of where it's at where unless you really are into the taste of a Heineken or want that import kind of a taste or feel to your beer, uh, I wouldn't suggest getting it because there's cheaper options and you can get the, the domestic if you just want the taste of beer because I don't think that Heineken is particularly special. If you want to be in the realm of having an import, especially a Dutch non-alcoholic beer, I would highly suggest Buckler. Uh, six packs of bottles of those are available unto me. Now the price point is probably the same, if not potentially cheaper, and it tastes better. And even if you go to Trader Joe's, a lot of different non-alcoholic beer options that they have there at a very uh, reasonable price point, uh, while tasting, in my mind, better than Heineken 0, 0.0. But nevertheless, very good of Heineken 0, 0.0 to be putting themselves out there, really marketing this, and so making it available to those of us who might want to have a non-alcoholic beer while out at a bar. Um, so, good on them. So yeah, Hmm. Gonna enjoy March Madness, and uh, nothing much more to say about the Heine. I'm gonna make